so plan is for me really is to take the top of the log off because those first few cuts on a big log are a pain and uh, very sensibly they've set the log up here with a little log down the side so you've got something to stand on what we want to look at doing is taking a big old lump off the top uh, that can be re-sawn if necessary and then that gives us at least when we go on tonight because this is going to be this is a prime candidate for uh, double-ended sawing really uh, it's in a good position space on each side sadly i left my uh, tripod behind for the camera so i've rested it to get to something <laughs> Interested? That's one of the 20 inch Panther bars, Panther Mini, on an Echo uh, 390. And it just, it means that you've got a 20 inch bar, um, but the tidying up cuts is very handy because it is so thin and it's so light. Uh, for doing, you know, not just doing logging and bucking, but for just working with the mill. So you can see we're taking the top off. Uh, it's quite a washboardy sort of finish. Um, it might be because I'm, you know, sharpen the train not that well, or just the awkwardness not not getting it moving smoothly through the wood. Uh, but really, with bigger stuff, I mean, as long as the main cut is accurate, that's uh, the important thing. See the other piece down there, the top piece. Um, so probably now do um, take another cut off the top. 